Hmm. <laughs> Jamie, Jamie, how's it going? Why do you call it coffee time? <laughs> it's, it's, it's fantastic. How's everybody else doing? Let me just make sure that this is on. I'm hoping everybody else has had a fantastic week so far. Uh, Robert, how's it going, my man? I've seen, I've seen you on Twitter and seen all the other stuff that you're doing. Thank you, thank you so much right there. Um, yeah, I'm hoping everybody has had a fantastic week and I'm really, really excited. Um, you know, we're getting close to the end of November and guess what that means? That means um, we're slowly getting to uh, December and it's almost going to be 2018 and I know 2018 is going to be the perfect year for a whole lot of us. Jeff Brown, how's it going my man? Thank you so much for tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in, can you just type in where you are located on the map right now or on the globe or in the world? Um, just want to see the impact of this show as we know it and uh, while you're doing that, I really want you to understand that I really, really believe that if you've got an online business or if you've got a business that you started on your own and it's your product and it's your service and it's your, um, you know, your um, intellect and your intellect, um, you know, knowledge and stuff like that. I really want you to be profitable in it and I really want you to enjoy working in it. You know what I mean? Because um, at the end of the day, it's not easy starting off your own thing. Joshua Bone, thank you so much for tuning in. And also for you to maintain that privilege of having your own ideas and your own business thriving, you should also know that you have to create for and relate to those you're going to be demanding money off of. So that's the reason why Every single day um, at 2 p.m. AEST, we sit around here and I teach you my four-step system on how to uh, market, scale, and also package, also um, brand your services so that your business is enjoyable and profitable. So basically, in essence, I really help small businesses like you grow using digital marketing strategies. And I really want to help you to curate and also create an online footprint so that um, you can earn more money with less struggle. Now, wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> Great stuff. All right, so you would notice that I constantly repeat um, what my values are. I constantly show up and I'm constantly consistent with the show because there's power in repetition. All right. That's what we're going to be talking about today. How when you constantly do the same thing, you get known for something. You get acknowledged by people, um, you know, when they're talking at a barbecue or when they just want to pass on word of mouth because they now understand what it is that you do, who you do it for and why they can recommend you to other people. You know why? Because they now trust you. So today we're going to be talking about the power of repetitive marketing um, and the power of you being consistent with your brand and actually creating a marketing process instead of being a one-click wonder. All right. A lot of people just dabble. All right. Uh, a lot of people touch on um, an idea and after one week it's not working. They discard it and then they go on and move on to the next shiny object. Today, as you're going to be noticing, it's Friday and it's Black Friday for quite a lot of, um, you know, online entrepreneurs. And guess what's going to be happening? You're going to be bombarded by a lot of people offering you the thing. All right. And what's going to happen is if you're not strong in your game, if you're not strong in your values, if you're not strong in your own business and confident that what you're offering or what you're saying will help other people be, do and have um, a better existence or in my case, um, a business that's profitable and enjoyable, you will be sidetracked by other people that are just trying to make a quick buck over, um, you know, Black Friday. So you really got to be consistent with who you are, consistent with your marketing, consistent with your word, because your word is your brand. All right. I'm going to say that again. Your word is your brand. OK, now Lorenzo says, is it better to work with a cold market or a warm market? Can you give me a bit of context 
in as much as what are you trying to talk about what are you selling and how does it work and just taking from what you're saying obviously you want to work with people that already know you like you and trust you there's no point in you trying to sell things to people that don't understand what you're selling first of all they don't appreciate it and second of all you're gonna waste a lot of money trying to convince people to want something they don't want already the world is awash with people that are waiting for you to show up if you've got a service that they uh, need so you want to be working with a warmer market instead of you just trying to hook on to anything else that bleeds or that has a credit card all right so i hope i answered your question there lorenzo um I really want that if you're going to be working or listening to any of these lunch and learns, you actually start taking action, all right? There's no point in you sitting here and it's like masturbating, all right? You just watch other people doing stuff and you're not actually, you know, really experiencing or actually doing the actual thing, all right? So I want people to actually start creating marketing processes and not just marketing events, all right? A lot of people yesterday or three days ago, I was turning people away because just because they've heard it's going to be Black Friday, now they want to react to the market and put out a campaign. When did I start talking about... Um, yeah, when did I start talking about, um, you know, putting out a campaign for Black Friday? In August. You know why? Because that's when you start prepping the market to know what to want. You've got to teach the market what it is that you do and what you do for them because... Not everyone is listening when you put out your content, all right? That's the misdemeanor that we all have as online uh, personas that, you know, you put out a status, you already think everybody's seeing it. You put out a live video like this, you already anticipate that everybody in your newsfeed is seeing it. People are busy. People are busy living their lives, doing stuff, running their families, etc., etc. So if you put out stuff today, don't expect people to actually see it there and there. If you put out stuff today, don't expect people to react. Because maybe they don't quite know you yet, they're not convinced, or they're not certain with if they're the right kind of person to actually take on such a deal. Does that sort of make sense? All right. So a lot of people get disheartened. A lot of people get frustrated. And I'm asking them, so how long have you been doing it? Ah, oh, four months, five months. And I'm like, bruh, you've got the audacity to want to make sure that this is going to be the thing you're going to be doing for the rest of your life. And you only give it three months. You have the audacity to want to make this the rest of your life that is going to be paying you uh, on autopilot and you only put in seven months. Bruh, you have to constantly be hammering, be putting in and working on your craft because somebody out there is also trying to get to where you're at right now. Andres Martinez, como estas, compañero? I hope you're having a fantastic day, my man. Yeah? Do you know what I mean? So whatever you're going to be doing in order to introduce your product to your audience, you have to constantly be going at it because nobody is paying particular attention or just sitting around and waiting for your live video to show up or just sitting around waiting for your blog to show up or just sitting around waiting for your content to show up. Steve Thompson, exactly, mate. Been going six months and I'm realistic. Fantastic that you need to go a whole lot more. Even a baby takes nine months if it's fully matured in the womb to be born. What makes you think you can be an overnight success? Do you know what I mean? Even a baby takes 18 years up until they're called an adult. What makes you think if this is going to be the rest of your life, you're just going to hit it once, do a Black Friday campaign and expect riches to come through to you immediately? Make the marketing a process. Make it your everyday life. I wake up every single day. Look at this. My little girl is probably playing in a room right now, but I'm showing up consistent, delivering value because you get paid in direct accordance to the value you put in the marketplace. You also get paid in direct, um, you know, um, the correlation to the impact you have. Some people go out and complain, oh my God, how is, why are teachers not paid as much as singers? Or why are teachers not paid as much as, um, 
you know, other, other, other professions out there. Because they are, they, yes, they provide value, but the impact is not as big as the amount of people that they are supposed to be reaching out to. A teacher might be influential to 26 kids, but an entrepreneur is influential to 26,000 people. So you are paid in direct proportion to the value you bring and as many people you, 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 you bring that value to. All right. So some people might be saying, oh, I'm doing all the work, I'm slaving and whatever. But what impact? How many people are you reaching out to and how consistent are you with that reaching out? Sandy, how's it going, my love? Thank you so much. You know, so half of the time, you know, there's, there's always, um, you know, people that would come around and say, um, you know, I did my my Black Friday, um, you know, um, a campaign but I never got any business or I did a mail out once and I never got any business or I sent out a pre press release once and I never got published in the newspaper or they would say I've been attending, you know, I attended um, a BNI or some sort of chamber of commerce meeting once and I never got business out of it. Do you notice a trend in what I'm talking about here? Do you notice a trend? The trend is the person just did it once and they're expecting that the results are going to be uh, thrown out at the end of the, um, the, 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 the tunnel there. You have to constantly do that. Do you just shower once for the rest of your life and you never stink? Do you just brush your teeth once and you never have to do it ever again? Do you just eat once and you're already nourished and, and, and you never have to eat again? Do you just sleep once and you never have to sleep for the rest of your life? So why would you think that you just have to do whatever you're doing once and expect people to be, you know, clamoring and tripping and falling all over your products? Why would you think so? You know, so the, the most common element or the first common element um, of the quotes that I just said of people saying, oh, I did this once or I, I went on and I, I reached out to this person once and people are busy. Right now, you are watching this video for the next 30 minutes. If something is coming through your newsfeed, are you going to see it? Of course not. Of course you're not going to see it. All right? So if that person doesn't hit you back again or rag at you again, so is he going to, you know, cry wolf and say, these people are ignoring me Once, because, because they never saw what I said or, or, or what I sent out? People are busy. People are trying to live their own lives. I've heard this numerous times. I've tried this once. I've, I've done this once. I've, I've, I've put out content. I've put out a life. How many times? And then I look at what I'm doing and I'm like, bruh, have you seen how many, how consistent I am? The time, the exact time of the day, the exact length, even if there's two people watching, even if there's 30 people watching, I'm constantly delivering. You know why? You never know when your break is going to be. You never know who in the audience is watching. So if you're going to give up after just trying once, you might as well go out, give up at the end of the year and go and get a job. Yeah, because if you just do something once, it doesn't ex necessarily mean it's going to have to explode, you know, consistency. So, you know, doing something once is an event. You have your birthday once a year. That's fine. You have Christmas once a year. But if you want consistent flow of income, you have to show up every single day with more content, a lot more value, and help a lot more people than you helped yesterday. Today, if I can ask you, how many people did you reach out to? Every single day before I wake up from my bed, um, I wake up at 6, uh, 6, 6 a.m., but I reach out to at least 50 people. Exactly, like what Steve Thompson says. You just don't work out today and expect to already have biceps and abs. You know what I mean? So when you do something once, it's just an event. But if you do it over and over and over again, it becomes a process. And the more you do it, the more it becomes a habit. Humans are creatures of habit. If you really want good outcomes, consistently do those things. It becomes second nature. You know? 
So a lot of people are treating marketing as just a one-off event. Oh, okay, so I'm just going to prep up my website for Black Friday. After that, I'm going to prep it up for Boxing Day sales. After that, I'm going to prep it up for um, maybe New Year's Eve sales. And then after that, I'm going to prep it up for Valentine's and then Easter and then and so on and so on. What happens to every single day? What happens to those people that just saw you once and they were not convinced and then you're leaving money on the table by not following up? Marketing is not an event. Your business is not a one-click wonder. You know? It's something you need to do over and over and over again if you really want to achieve results. Back in the time, yes, you could put up a billboard and never worry about it. But these days, people have constant communication. People have constant touch with whatever is going on at the palm of their hands. So you want to make sure that you are there where your customers are searching too. And Tipal Phillips, how are you going, my love? Thank you so much for tuning in. You know what I mean? There's marketing gurus like uh, Dan Kennedy. You know what he does? Um, he, he, he mentions a story about if he starts receiving, um, you know, mail from a particular individual, he's got a table in his office where he, he puts that letter without opening it and finds out how many times is that same person going to mail them. 99% of marketers only do it once. So what happens if maybe that letter got lost in the mail, that status got lost, um, you know, in, in, in the news feed and people didn't get to see it? What was the point of even trying to dabble onto it? So these days you need to, you know, you, you need to reach out to people at least six to eight times. With whatever resistible offer you have, people have to see you at least six to eight times. Before they even get into purchase mode, before they're even ready to look at your stuff. So it puts you in the forefront of their awareness when it comes to the time when they actually need what you need right now. I mean, what you're selling right now. Not everyone is ready to purchase your items because at the end of the day, let me tell you something. People already have all they need. But the more you, you, you teach them, you, the more you educate them on what they, they actually then might want, that's when they're going to make a purchase from you. You know, let me, let me explain to you how it actually works. Um, most of the times in the mornings, I actually, hey, Nicole, how's it going? Most of the times in the mornings, I go out and meet people in real person, you know? And guess what I hear from those people? Oh my God, are you prosper? I see you everywhere. And you know what that makes me feel? It makes me feel good. You know why? What these people literally mean is they see me everywhere, but they are just hearing about my content. Do you know what I mean? They see my company name, um, you know, or, or, on, on whatever marketing events they, they're supposed to be doing. They see it in the press release. They see it in the press as well. Or they see an ad or they see me speaking at a seminar. You know, or wherever I'm presenting or if I'm going to be talking about something, you know what I mean? They would have received some sort of communication from me. So all of these efforts, they add up. You know what I mean? So I'm, I've, I've most likely touched that prospect, you know, four or five times before they, they've even met me. And now they feel like they know me already. You know, they are now actually just think, oh my God, I see you everywhere because I'm putting up my marketing everywhere where my target audience happens to be out of sight out of mind so if your clients are not seeing you hearing about you you don't exist in their lives so i have to do this over and over and over again and now you're creating a marketing process right now a lot of people how many of you guys anticipate uh, this show at 2 p.m ast just type in the number one or do you just stumble upon it? If you anticipate it, type in the number one. If you just stumble upon it, type in the number two. Just so that we can see what, what exactly we're talking about here. So at the end of the day, look at this. And Steve says, good mate, really. <laughs> I love it. A friend on fire. Exactly. So at the end of the day, do I get business when I hear my, my clients say they see me everywhere? Not necessarily. But guess what that creates? That whole no like and trust. 
you know what I mean? So it provides a confirmation that your marketing efforts are actually working. There's a lot of noise out there on the market. What makes you stand out? So the more you are in touch with your prospects, the more they will remember when it comes to the time when they actually need your goods or services. But if you're just going to be a one-click wonder, guess what? Grand opening, grand closing. So they're going to think of you as soon as they are ready to make that purchase. Because right now, if I start selling you a car, did you even think you wanted a car in your life today? No. But maybe when the time comes and, you, and your car busts and then you think, oh my God, Prosper sells cars. Let me see what he's got. Maybe that's six months, 10 months, eight months down the track. And what if I haven't been constantly reminding you, would you think of it? No, you will go to the person who's been constantly reminding you to purchase a car from them. So what are you doing to constantly be top of mind for your, um, your audience? And guess what? Don't get discouraged by the response that, um, you know, that you get from your marketing in, in incentives. Because first of all, not everyone is your customer. And second of all, people are really, really busy. So at least if people are paying you some sort of attention, milk that. Try and not lose it. All right? People are out there trying to survive. They are just trying not to die. What makes, them, what makes you think that they are hungry for your message right now? So all you got to do is constantly do it again, do it again, up until you become part of their livelihood. And plan your marketing efforts so that it becomes part of your life in as much as you can do it at any given time at the, at the click of a finger. Right now, I was, I was busy just checking out, you know, my wife, my wife, she's spoiled, huh? She look at the magazines that she reads. But I was just looking at this for... You know, just so we, we have a conversation a little bit later of, of what could interest us. And then I, I just remembered, oh, snap, it's 2 p.m. Just because my life is arranged around this whole show and giving value and promoting my content and actually helping people by actually helping them, it becomes an easy process. You know? So 90% of marketing decisions you know, are made in the customer's subconscious mind. It's not what you tell them. It's what they make a decision about without you even interfering about it. So just make sure you are present at least. Because you're asking people to trust you with their lives, their money, their time and their effort. And if you're not going to show up, then why would anybody even consider giving you their hard-earned cash? So the way you approach people's subconscious is by repetition. Be constantly available. Have you ever seen what Coca-Cola does? They know you already know what Coca-Cola is. Right now, you could just see red and white and automatically you think of Coca-Cola. But they constantly advertise to you. McDonald constantly advertises to you because you know what? At the end of the day, even if somebody says, oh my God, I love you, you'll be like, yeah, I'm loving it. So it's subconscious. Do you know what I mean? And at the end of the day, it, it becomes a no-brainer. When, whenever you see the golden arches, you just get hungry for no reason. You know what? Your subconscious is already trained to like that brand. So you want to be like that to your customers. Unless maybe you're just doubling. Of which you've got up until the end of the year to stop wasting people's time. Because if you really want to go into next year and really kick ask at business, mm, you're going to have to show up. So it goes back to like direct sales or whatever it is. Learn that it takes a minimum of six times of contacting your, 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 your prospects before they are even ready to purchase, before they even know who you are. You know? And guess what? Your competition stops at one. Your competition stops at two. Your competition maximum goes the third round. Now look at the gap that's in the market. If you're going to go all the way to six. Go all the way, bruh. Go all the way. I want you to type in all the way. Just type in, the, just type in all the way. You know why? Because from now on, you're not just going to be doing half 
asked marketing, you're actually going to be there for your customers because they're the people that are going to be affording you that lifestyle. They're the people that are going to be paying for those holidays. They're the people that are going to be paying for those clothes. You know? Exactly. There's a lot of one-hit wonders there. Just type in the words all the way if you're going to pledge to go all the way. There's a big gap in the market right now, you know, that you need to fill. Because all the other people are just going in. And then they are has-beens. You know, they're just has-beens. People that have run, go all the way. And while you're at it, because used to bees don't make no honey. Yeah? So marketing literally works the same way, guys. You know? I've literally gotten business from, from, from prospects that I, they say they started listening to me in January. You know, they started listening to me in January and many months from watching these lives, having contact with my content, etc., etc. You know, and they tell me, you know what, you you have actually been helping me all this way. And I'm like, bro, really? Paul Harris will not be a has been. Absolutely. I love that declaration, my brother. I love that declaration. A has run, a has been, not going to be you. Just type in all the way. You know why? Don't do it for me. Do it for yourself. That you're going to go all the way. Everybody else is stopping at three. You want to go at number six and seven. I'm not saying you should offer to babysit, but, you know, if, if that's the case, um, we're, we're looking for a babysitter. <laughs> but get people to actually really trust you. Enough to really want to invite you into their homes, invite you into their, their livelihood. Because let me tell you something. Real business deals are done offline. All real business deals are done offline. $2, $45, $1,000 deals, they're done, yes, transactions online. So you want to make sure that when people are going to be inviting you, they know they can trust who you are. You know, there's a lot of people that are just, that can just pick up the phone and be like, hey brother, hey listen, I'm having problems here with my business, can you help me out? And I'm like, who are you? They're like, oh snap, they feel like they already know me, and I don't. You know, this would have never happened if I stopped, you know, reaching out at number three. So every time you, 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 you meet somebody, remember this. You now have six more times to reach out to that person. You can do that in a day. You can do that in a week. You can do that in a month. You can do that in years. You can do that in a decade. But whatever it is, this is where the caveat is. The moment you stop before you get to number six, you're going to have to restart the clock again. Now, how much money, time and effort are you going to waste by stopping? Instead of you just continuously going so that your six touch points are being reached. And if that person is willing and able to pay for your services, voila. So take my advice. Plan out your marketing. All right. Don't do it for the audience that is watching you currently. Do it for that one person. Reach out every single day. Get up and say, I want to start number six for somebody else today. And Paul Harris said, I had a guy who recently decided after eight months, wow, of follow-ups and building relationships has decided to go ahead with the program. Now we've decided to catch up in real life. How cool. Eight months. So I'm not just talking out of my voiseau, you know. This is stuff that is happening out there. But unless you're just selling, I don't know, pens or small gigs, which maybe this is... Good for you to just watch and pretend like you're learning something. But if you're really creating a business that you really want to have profit out of and actually enjoy working in it, you're going to have to start waking up every single day looking for that one person that you're starting the sixth step for them. Do you know what I mean? Don't just do marketing events. Do marketing processes. All right? 
put things that are going to be consistent. Get your people to know who you are. I've had people writing to me saying, oh my God, I actually sneak into the, to the coffee room so that I can watch your videos. Oh my God, um, you know, I actually set a reminder to know that at 2 p.m. I have to come and watch you. It's because I have set that precedent and I've been consistently offering value so that people, you know, now cannot do without this show. So you have to keep the idea of, of, of repetitiveness. Even if you think you've said it again, one person hasn't heard it. Other people have not heard your value. Other people have not heard your message. You know? So you want to put all those activities either in a calendar or in some sort of a diary or you, 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 you set you know, notifications on your phone that, hey, listen, 10 minutes to providing value. Have you given value today? How many people have you connected with? And all that increased um, you know, activity, it compounds. The more you reach out to people, the more people you serve, the more you earn. Look at this. If you really think, um, you know, you know, you know, um, look at all the high, highly paid people. Mark Zuckerberg, he serves billions of people. And look at how much he earns. Amazon, how many people shop on Amazon? AliExpress, how many people shop on AliExpress? So stop complaining that you're not highly paid as a teacher because you're only serving 15 students. The more people you serve, the bigger your paycheck. So every single day, reach out to as many people as you can and be consistent about it because they need to hear about you six more times. And humans are creatures of habit. You don't want to break the pattern that they're used to. And once they're familiar with you and once they have integrated you and, and have accepted you as one of their own, that comes with the credit card. And you start seeing the results. And Paul says service costs nothing, but it's very rare these days. Exactly. Because people have become so lazy. But your prospects haven't become lazy. Somebody out there is pulling them and bringing them and offering them that service. All right. So maybe you know somebody who might need to really, really hear this message. Share this message with them or just tag them in there. Because they really need to go all the way. We're going into 2018. A lot of people, you, you, you would notice that maybe, maybe it was a tug of war. You know what I mean? And slowly, a, little, a few people are letting go. You will notice around you, a lot of people are just letting go. But you want to keep going because you haven't hit number six um, with, 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 that, with that particular person. Alright? This is the last video for this uh, week, all right? And we're gonna go off on the weekend. I really want you to have a fantastic weekend. I want it to be phenomenal, but I really want you to start creating processes in your marketing. Don't just be a one hit wonder. You don't need one shower to stop stinking. You don't brush your teeth once, um, you know, and, and, and you don't need to do it, uh, you know, over and over again. You consistently have to keep doing it. So that's the same with your marketing. That's the same with you reaching out to your audience. Don't be a one-click wonder. All right? In the meantime, thank you so much, uh, you know, for showing up. Um, I'm probably going to just chill with the family. If anyone wants to have a chat, see how we can, um, you know, help you be doing, have a business that's profitable and enjoyable, I really, really, really am here to help out. All right? So at the end of the day, have a cracker weekend. Enjoy with your family and also um, if you're still hangover or still full from Thanksgiving, have the gratitude of knowing that you can consistently be in touch with your customers if you actually really need to be of service, all right? So on behalf of the crew at uh, Live Long Digital, I really, really want you to have a business that's profitable and I want you to enjoy working in it. Prosper is out of here.